Dale from my house, between my house and my office, and it's just a painting job. And we're up to the painting stage, I should say. I got James, he's getting all the gear from the paint shop, all the stuff we're gonna need straight away. Then we're gonna ring ahead and order the rest of the paint what we're gonna need. Pretty much fresh ceilings, all new ceilings throughout. All the ceilings were replaced. We're gonna uh, hopefully spray. I got my Wagner spray gun in the back, we're ready to go. Should be a good day. We've got a little bit of work on the outside to do. Three coats on the ceilings, one coat on the walls. Hopefully if we pull the spray gun out today, there's no other tradespeople working in there. We can spray it out and get those ceilings looking beautiful today. And then jump onto the walls tomorrow. And we should hopefully fly through this job. So let me catch up with you when we get back to the job. Welcome back to another glorious day on the job site. And hello to 27,600 subscribers. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Today we are doing some brand new ceilings. As you can see, get everything here ready. Excuse the noise, it's not very light. We're gonna fix these sheets up and go around. Three coats on the ceiling. First coat is sealer and two top ceiling coats. And we're gonna back roll every coat. Some people in other videos they say, why do you back roll? It's a waste of time. Well, this is why I leave a little excerpt from the drywall manufacturer that states you gotta back roll. PS 3.21, good little entry level machine with the vector grip. And we got a 517 tip, vector grip with the 517 tip. Uh, we don't need a wand because the ceilings are only 2.4 high. So let's get this primed up. Started. It's gonna be back rolling. It's gonna be back rolling with this big baby. James, there's a few um, sheets that fell down over there, and I think one more aircon unit to do. If you want to grab that for us, so you want an empty bucket uh, when you prime it, and any uh, waste that you use. So I'm just gonna set this up right now. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Right, you put this in in your paint. That end in your paint. It's all plugged in. Hit the on button. Yes, you do. This button here is the primer, and straight down is prime. 
So you let it climb up until you have paint sucking through through there, through the machine. And once it's primed up, it will come out here. You can actually even stick it there and have it cycling through. But we're all primed up. You want to make sure it's off, then flick it around. Switch it back on, and the pressure will build up in the hose. You got your gauge right here. You can set it for whatever you want. I like to spray around 1500. But it doesn't matter too much. If it's high pressure, you just move quicker. Um, yeah, so pretty much we're ready to go. We might have a bit of water in the line, so get a little area. Or maybe we'll bring the hose back, spray it into the bucket. So you might want to just cover your eyes or something. Just getting water out of line. So that's all just straight water. Still. All right, now we're getting into the paint. There you go, now you got your paint. Now, just uh, turn this around. You're good to go. So next we'll get our mask on. I wanna show you my mask. This is a 3M mask. There's a 3M mask right here. Let's get a face track going on. And I'll leave a link in the description. They sell them on Amazon. I've actually, a few people have bought them off Amazon from my links, um, the refills. But yeah, this is a great mask, very comfortable. Does a great job. And um, I've used quite a bit already. So let's get this going. We're all ready. Let's go. All right, let's get started. Doesn't matter. Just let that roll in. It just doesn't matter. 